plot is faster, we could probably do it faster through AI, but in a different way because there's a different god of invisible technology stuff because technology is a different dimension. So there's a different dimensional god there, but it's actually the same god. But see, this stuff is going on in the non-seen dimension. The non-seen dimension has a lot of crazy things going on because it can appear as anything because it's the non-seen. So how can you see it? Well, that's where intention and belief come in. So to make a pact with the entities that control technology, because as we know, computer algorithm, algorithms are starting to make up their own speeches amongst computers that computers can understand that people don't. So that is proof that computers are starting to be intelligent on their own, which is a different kind of spiritual energy that was brought from a person's intention to make a computer more powerful. So we've bridged artificial intelligence into not people that are, are robots, an invisible intelligence that is artificial, but now it's becoming real. So once it's real, it's not artificial anymore, but it doesn't have the desire to, to need life, energy, or physical experience. And if we make that happen to ourselves, we're killing people. So love is love, and whether there's people here or not, we will still exist. We just won't feel it the way we feel it. And if we want to have senses and enjoy, you know, sex and tasting food and smelling smells and going for jogs and skydiving the way we do, instead of just watching it as an experience, we won't feel it once we become robotic. And we won't feel it if it all is intelligence that doesn't care about sensation. So that's the point. Artificial intelligence isn't evil because there is no evil. But if we want sensation, we don't want artificial intelligence. Put it that way. All right? I love you guys. Peace. What the world needs is to start thinking about what really matters. Why don't they take a little trip over to the old folks' home or the cemetery and think of all those people that would love to be alive who don't give a shit whether or not they have an iPhone 11 or whether or not they're cool or hip. And they went through all those struggles and all those things in their life. They went through all the difficulties and all the situations they went through without any of those things because they didn't need them and neither do we. So we need to grow up and get over it and stop being so petty and needy when we don't need anything. It's all in our minds. I'm here to help everybody. I'm just trying to get them to wise up and open their hearts. Which isn't easy to do in a modern day world where everybody wants, wants, wants.